Hi there, my van lifing friends. Um, I'm back again. As you have seen, I have been on a winter trip up in northern Sweden, and it has been really cold, down to minus 22 degrees. Uh, mostly everything has worked very, very good. We even had water at 20 minus degrees, but when we drove, it got frozen. And as well, sometimes we got, uh, when we were standing still, at nights at like minus 15 degrees Celsius. As well, we got some frozen pipes in the rear. And as well in the sink, uh, in the kitchen, we have a frozen pipe to the gray water tank. And I will uh, just show you some modifications I have done to get this to work better on the next trip and better prepared. It's also, of course, some kind of experiment. I will also show you how Audria has uh, tried to, to uh, avoid this actually to happen. But we start with the sink. First thing I will show you is that this sink in the kitchen, it's very easy to get frozen. Uh, so you can't use it, even if you have tap water. Uh, it's not really because that this kitchen module here is uh, cold, it's because this grey water piping goes out under the car and right out in the air before it enters the grey water tank. It's very very easy to, to get the freezing in that pipe. On this module it's an Audria Twin 640 SLX from uh, 2018. It might differ on your van so you need to check how it looks at yours. Let's go outside and see how I fix that. All right, we are now outside and under the van. This is the grey water tank you see here. And here is the pipes that go from the sink in the kitchen. And you see, I just cut it off. And got me uh, two 27 millimeter clamps. Horse clamps. And I also bought connector tubes. Uh, they have a lot, about 22 or 23 millimeters outer diameter and 20 millimeter inside or inner diameter. And I just pushed each end of these into the tubes and connected it together again. And uh, I also put some uh, duct tape, some turns just to, uh, to get a better fitting uh, and better sealant and then just tighten the hose clamps. And why did I do this? If I get the freezing into that pipe, which is really, really easy because of it doesn't have a very good angle down to the tank, so it's rather flat. Actually, some negative part of it as well. So it uh, traps water and it's outside the van, it freezes quickly. If you don't put in like alcohol or something in it, of course you could pour in some alcohol after you use the, the sink to avoid this, but that's a hassle I think, so I will not opt for that. What I do if I get the freezing is so that I disconnect this tube very very quickly now, so I could have the wastewater from the sink just pour out in the free, but with a bucket under. And that works perfectly, depending on where you are, of course. You maybe not even need to do that if you just pour water through the sink. So that's tip number one, to get this to work better on your van. All right, we are in the garage or the shed or in the rear of the van. And sorry for the mess, but we actually just got home from a uh, fantastic trip. You have the fresh water tank on the van on the right side and uh, from there you have two water pipes uh, running to the Truma heater that is located on the left on this van, left rear. I know that some of the newer vans have their Truma heater on the left side but in the front under the sofa. In this van you have it under this bed on behind the bathroom. However, okay, so you have water pipes here. Uh, that easily uh, freeze it could happen from like six minus degrees and below and you can also release the frost plug by just uh, increase the heating on the van and if you're lucky it uh, loosen up at like 
minus 5 to 6 minus degrees, or you could have difficult. Uh, what Audio have done is to run this pipe from the heater to this area. They have also insulated against uh, uh, the metal body of the car, and everything runs under this aluminum profile that is uh, installed here. You can see it on your van how it looks. Uh, the thing is, it doesn't really get very warm at this thin pipe because it runs along the wall under the uh, LPG storage very close to the body of the car and it's not much flow it doesn't feel warm in there so it does not really really do the job down to the cold temperatures uh, what I have done so far is that originally it looks like this it's open like this you have the insulation to the floor but you see the body of the car that of course is really really cold if it's like that cold that we have had this week very close to the water pipes so I have put down some insulation along there and as well at the outside because where you have this lock it just open up there under this aluminum profile so I have put some insulation under there as well I have also separated the LPG pipe that runs here to the kitchen and to the uh, cooler. Uh, beware, because I have just um, took a saw and take this aluminum profile off here to do not disintegrate the LPG storage compartment which, which is sealed. And it's very, very difficult to get this profile out of the van without remove a lot of more things. So I just cut it off and we'll seal it back and also fasten it in the end here so it will be nice. But I will keep it actually open and only fasten it with the screws that it is original until I see if this is good enough or if I need to improve anything else. And I can also easily remove or lift this list so the heat in the garage could reach the area if I need to. So that's the plan for now. But so far I'm doing some ins insulation and I'm going to bolt this aluminum profile back here. So that is tip number two, what you could improve. So this is really simple improvements that you can do. And uh, be careful if you cut in that uh, aluminum profile because it's an LPG line and of course your water pipes there as well. So you don't damage these. I will get back to you and see if these improvements uh, helps us and, and improves the winter camping with the, with the van. Uh, hopefully it does. And I <laughs> was really happy to see that Audrey actually have tried to, to, to heat up that compartment. That surprised me actually. Uh, unfortunately it doesn't really heat up that much. Uh, another thing I could do is to run a pipe myself from the inside of the garage, from the garage heating vent. That I could very quickly have a pipe run to the rear to, to heat up the rear end better. Uh, if I need to. Otherwise, except from what I've told you, uh, it has actually worked really, really great to win winter camp with a van. Just uh, get proper tires and get up there and winter camp and try your van out and see what you need to improve or not. And please also tell me if your vans from the newer generations, I know that they have pipes centered into the van, uh, runs from the sofa over to the kitchen module. Uh, if that's the case, if these vans are improved and, and works better in colder temperature, please comment below on that and see if, uh, if it is improved because I'm very, very curious about that. should be really interesting to know. I hope this could uh, help you out there or that it was interesting. And stay tuned because there will be a lot more videos. Bye.